Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to run LAMP simulation on multiple ports. For that, at first, go to your browser and write packages.lamps.org slash windows.html. Then, download your required version of LAMPS and install it. I have 64-bit computer, so I'll download the 64-bit windows LAMPS file. So this is the file LAMPS 64-bit latest MPI-EXE. You must have downloaded the MPI-EXE or else it will not run. So after you download the file, install the file. I have already downloaded and installed LAMPS on my PC. So I will not download it again. Then after that, download the MPI-CH2 either for 32-bit or for 64-bit. As my windows is 64-bit, so I will be downloading the 64-bit.msi. I have downloaded the file so I will not download it again here is the file so double click the file and start it will, it will start next I agree this can be anything the passphrase just keep it be happy next give everyone next next So MPI is already successfully installed in your PC, close. Now go to your environment path and see if MPI CH2 is added. So properties and then advanced system settings, environment variables and here in the path go edit. You can see MPI CH2 is already added after you have installed the mpch2 so this is just click ok ok now open the command prompt in administrator mode then write smpd.exe install so mpch2 is installed in your pc right now now write mpi exec register so don't write account name because it's already there and just type a password so password encrypted into the registry now to validate type mpi exec validate as you can see it's success so MPI is already installed in my PC right now now let me show you an example on how to run lamps on multiple cores so I have an example input file here in.crack so open your powershell and write MPI EXEC n2 as i have two number of ports then lmp mpi in and the name of the input file enter as you can see it's taking a bit of time ran successfully there you go and here n2 means two number of cores so here is the log file so that is it thank you for watching the tutorial see you soon in the next tutorial